Hello, friends. So my name is uh, Ashish Goyal. I'm a professor at the Department of Medicine at Dr. B.R. Ambedkar State Institute of Medical Sciences at Mohali. I'm often asked by several students to write for them a letter of recommendation. And often, students keep struggling on how to write a letter of recommendation. So here, let me share with you a few tips that I designed for my students on how to write a letter of recommendation. So let me share my screen with you and talk to you in this short 10 minute video about 10 tips for writing a letter of recommendation. So in this video, I'm going to cover 10 key points. One, about the letterhead. That it needs to be addressed to the appropriate authority it begins with an introduction of yourself. You need to tell how you know the candidate and if you know the candidate. It's better tailor-made for a specific purpose. And it describes why the candidate is a good fit with specific instances around this subject, gives a summary of recommendations and includes a statement that the writer is available for any further queries that the reader may have, and it has to be proofread carefully. So let's launch into each one of them. It's always the best to write the letter of recommendation on an institutional letterhead, which clearly mentions the affiliation and the contact details of the writer of this letter. It's always better to avoid writing a letter to whomsoever it may concern. It's usually addressed to the specific authority who is going to make the decision. For example, for residency programs, it's written for the usually the program director who's going to make the decision on the candidate. When you are writing a letter of recommendation, it's most appropriate to first introduce yourself and tell who you are. Are you even qualified to write this letter? Next, you would like to tell the person who is reading this letter how you know the candidate. Do you even know them? How long have you known them? And in what capacity do you know them? It's always best that the letter of recommendation is written by the immediate supervisor or the person to whom the candidate is reporting directly in the recent times. Next up, you would want to write the letter of recommendation, which is tailor-made for a specific purpose. It's best to avoid writing a generic letter of recommendation, and it should be customized to the position which is under consideration at the specific time when the letter is being written. Now we come to the most important or the major part of the letter of recommendation, in which the writer describes why the applicant is a good fit. It consists of four distinct parts where there is a section describing why the candidate is a good fit for the position in terms of what is the past experience, what he has been doing in the past, what is he currently doing, and what is their motivation for this position in applying for this position. Then, how is their motivation or experience appropriate for the current position? What are their long-term goals, in your opinion? Next, you also write a line about how the current position will help them fulfill their goals. And finally, in this section, you also write if they fulfill their long-term goals, how, how if, they, uh, if this position does help them to fulfill their, fulfill their goals, how will it impact the society or science or your own institution? So those are the four key aspects of this section where you describe that the applicant is a good fit for this program or for this position. You tell specific instances where you may have been impressed by the candidate, which should be real and not fictitious. And these instances should be relevant to the position which is being under consideration. Finally, you provide a summary of recommendations which is clear and apt. And you also write another line about how the success of this candidate in this application will impact your institution. 
you say that you are available for any further queries regarding this applicant. And last but not the least, please, please proofread your letter carefully for formatting and for grammatical errors. You can watch another video of mine where I tell how to format um, a specific document or how to format a manuscript, which is generally applicable to all documents largely. I will also provide you a further tip. There are some key aspects which are often looked for by every individual who's trying to review a letter of recommendation. They want to see that the candidate is dependable, is consistent, is punctual, and is motivated for this position. These key adjectives should be there in a letter of recommendation. Besides, yes, you want to talk about the potential of the candidate, the skill set they possess, the strengths that they have, that they are persistent about a task, they have character, they have experience which is appropriate, and they are sincere and truthful. So I, I believe and I hope that this video was helpful to you. And with this, I come to an end of my presentation. Thanks for stopping by.